Hey, Valley Middle School. Tonight we're going to work on simplifying ratios. Before we do that, let's go ahead and start with our tonight's trivia question. Who is this pop diva from the 80s? Ask your parents. They probably would recognize her immediately. Tonight our target officially is 6.1b. I can express ratios in simplest form. Let's do this thing. Before we talk about ratios, I want to look at these two uh, images here. First of all, we have a fraction. This fraction here, as we know, this talks about a part to whole relationship. Three parts out of a total of eight parts. Okay? Like, I ate three pieces out of an eight piece pizza, or that's how much is left. Three eighths. So, you got that picture in your mind? This ratio, three to eight, is a little bit different. This might be I ordered three pizzas for every eight people, or there are three boys in the room to eight girls. So there's a total of 11 people, three boys, eight girls, total of 11. Here there's only eight pieces total. So this is a part to part, boy to girl. This is part to whole relationship. So we need to keep that in mind when we're thinking about ratios uh, in terms of simplifying and just processing them and working with them. All right. Here's the question of the night. What is the ratio 15 ounces of oil to 25 ounces of gasoline in simplest form? How would you go about expressing that ratio in simplest form? Well, when you have a fraction, whatever you do to one, the top side of the fraction, you do to the bottom side. And really, it's the same thing here with a ratio. Whatever you do to one side, you'll do to the other. So I've got my little note there. Do the same thing to both sides. And this will help keep them equivalent. So we have 15 to 25. Um, I can divide both of those by 5. So if I divide 15 by 5, I have 3. And if I divide 25 by 5, I have 5. So I get to this ratio 3 to 5. And that is in simplest form. You can think of it like a fraction. If the fraction 3 fifths would be in simplest form, this ratio 3 to 5 would be in simplest form too. It means the two sides of the ratio don't share any common factors other than 1. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our word of the day. So ratio in simplest terms, then, is that ratio that where both sides of the ratio only share the common factor of 1. That will be in simplest form. So if you take a look at these two examples up here, we have 8 to 16. If I divide both of these by the greatest common factor of 8, I can get that ratio down into a 1 to 2 ratio. Okay, 1 cup of sugar to two cups of flour, for example. Total of three parts, remember? Okay, this one here, 10 to 15. Now here I use the word two instead of the colon, but it's still a ratio. I could divide both sides by five and get that ratio to two to three. I can see I made a little typo there. Okay, but how do you reduce unfamiliar ratios, Miss Jackson, and what have you done for me lately? Hmm. What the heck am I talking about? Yeah, it'll come together at the end. All right, let's take a look at um, expressing this ratio in simplest form. 75 to 225. Well, one way to do it is to actually figure out what all the factors they are have in common um, and then choose the largest one. So what I did here is I just did a couple of the quick factors uh, for 75, and then I did the factors for 225, and then I looked for the greatest common factor, that GCF. Well. That's 75. So if I take 75 and divide it by 75, I'm going to get 1. If I take 225 and I divide it by 75, I'm going to get 3. So I did the same things to both sides of the ratio. And this is in simplest form because the greatest common factor is 1. Okay? I think there are simpler ways to go about doing that. Um, I don't know if you necessarily need to make factor trees and, and look for the greatest common factor. I think you can just start reducing them like fractions. For example, take a look at this one here. Here's my yeah but for the day. In this case here, I didn't, I didn't use the greatest common factor. I made a mistake because I factored wrong here. So I have this ratio 30 to 45. Well, I, I divided both of them by 5. So I divided 30 by 5 and I got 6 and I did divided 45 by 5 and I got 9. So I have this ratio 6 to 9. But looking at that, I knew that that was not in simplest form. 
because there, there's still a common factor of three. So sometimes if you don't do it right and use the greatest common factor, you end up doing, going through the process again. Um, and I think that's okay too, as long as you're always checking to make sure your final ratio is in simplest form. So if I divided these both by three, then I'd be back to two to three, and that is in simplest form. Alrighty? I think it's time for you to try one. Here we go. Express this ratio in simplest form, 33 to 24. Okie dokie, let's see how you did. Okay, 33 to 24. Um, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and I ended up with 11 to 8. 11 to 8, 11 to 8. Now I'm looking at those, I'm doing my GCF check here. I've done the same thing to both sides, 11 to 8. Yeah, they don't share any other common factors, so 11 to 8. That's my ratio in simplest form. Hope you got the same answer. All right, try this one. 56 to 14. I see dead people. Okay, let's see how you did. Well, both of them share a common factor of 7s. I knew that, so I divided 56 by 7, I divided 14 by 7. I got this ratio of 8 to 2. But I did my GCF check, and I realized that I could divide them both by 2 again. So I divided by 2, and went through the process again, and I ended up with 4 to 1. So 4 to 1 is my ratio in simplest form. Alrighty? I think I got one more for you before you take it to the show. Here you go. Give this one a shot. 36 to 16. All right, let's check it out. Well, I divided both of them by 4, and I got the ratio of 9 to 4. And so studying that 9 to 4, are there any other common factors? No. So my ratio, 9 to 4, is in simplest form. All right, I think you're ready for the ticket to the show. It's a pretty straightforward target. Uh, express these ratios in simplest form, 36 to 42 and 42 to 8. I'll give you a second to write those down. All right. Who is this? Well, she wasn't quite as, or isn't quite as famous as her brother, Michael Jackson, but this is Janet Jackson. Huge in the 80s, one of the uh, first real pop star divas that I can remember back in the age of Madonna, uh, Whitney Houston. So, awesome. Have a good evening.